Next question, and this was something that was asked in a not sent in, but just a, a conversation that uh, I think you had, Ed, I did. this past week. And uh, someone had asked the question um, basically about how we got uh, or how the, the, the books of the Bible uh, were included, which ones were not included, because as many people have you do a little research and you know there are some ancient books that are floating around out there. Um, there's a Gospel of Mary. There's a Gospel of Judas, I believe. Sure. Gospel of Thomas. 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 There's a book of Enoch somewhere. I and, think there's a Gospel of Jesus. Okay. Mm-hmm. There, there's lots of those floating around, and how, and as we know, they are not included in our 66 books of the canon, what we call the mm-hmm. Bible. The canon's a technical word, but that included in our Bible. And they were really wanting to know, well, why is that? Why mm-hmm. are some of those books excluded? So let's give the quick answer on that <laughs> if we can uh i the answer i gave to the person was um you know there there was a council everybody every history channel the da vinci code everybody points to the council of nicaea mm-hmm. where you know they all came together and they decided on the books and it's all it sounds conspiratorial but really all they were doing was codifying what had already been yeah. decided yes. as the books. I mean, that's 300 years later. Mm-hmm. Uh, even these books that are being written, some of them are called pseudepigrapha books, which mm-hmm. pseudepigrapha, pseudo means mm-hmm. false. false. <laughs> Pigrapha means writing. writing. So, yeah. And it's a uh, it's a actual style of writing, like we mm-hmm. talk about apocrypha writing. There are people, we call it ghost writing in mm-hmm. our day, mm-hmm. but often ghost writers are in on it with the real author. These were people who were writing things in the name and the spirit of something, yes. you know. And I, this is a terrible illustration, the illustration I use with the person because it happened around the time of the Hamilton uh, thing being mm-hmm. released, is Alexander Hamilton was not a black man who rapped. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> but that thing is written pseudepigrapha with mm-hmm. some history alongside. There is some mm-hmm. history. And then there's some other stuff that's dramatic that's mm-hmm. added to it. Not mm-hmm. everything that happens nor is said was said by yes. Alexander Hamilton. So that was a style of writing that was not only about Jesus. There were pseudepigrapha books written about by Roman emperors. Mm-hmm. The reason we don't have more copies of those is nobody cared about the emperors after right. Rome was overturned. <laughs> People did care about Jesus, so these other mm-hmm. books were carried along. But it wasn't like there was a big controversy. And it wasn't like the church was was using them as scripture no, ever. in the in the first 100 200 years. No, they were never doing that. Yeah. Well, that's that's particularly what is remarkable about the Bible and in particular these 66 books that we do have is one that there is so much consensus at the time that these are the books that are important and these are the letters, right? So a lot of the New Testament things are letters. And authorship was verified. Right. They knew they knew these are the ones. So one there's this consensus, but two that we have as many copies as we do and You've, if you've seen kind of any study of that, you've seen we have an enormous and in in un uh, un almost reasonable amount compared to other things. There are mm-hmm. not other ancient documents that you would look at and go, this is just so much higher. But the reason why is because these were these were more than just letters. They were letters and they were getting rid, but they immediately recognized. There is there is something what we would refer to as scripture about them mm-hmm. that these are what we refer to as God breathed that they look mm-hmm. at this and says this is these are people who had been with Jesus so so uh, they either were you know apostles who had been with Jesus or they had been with people who had been with Jesus like Luke uh, the who writes the book of Luke and uh, Acts. the book of Acts had done eyewitness testimony and yep. had spent time traveling with Paul and mm-hmm. with Peter and these people and. Um, so when they wrote these, the ones that we have, and we have so many copies of, the people who were closest to the events said these are important, mm-hmm. not just as history, but also important in our own development as disciples of Jesus. And so, as you said, it's remarkable that there aren't organization, there aren't empires that held on to all of these documents. There were, there were followers of Jesus, often poor, you know, peasant people that were holding on and holding on to these documents and they've survived history. Mm -hmm. And so, as you said, there was already an agreed upon canon. Certainly 300 years afterwards. I mean, everybody agreed on the first 39 Mm -hmm. of the old Testament. Mm -hmm. And then it was the next 27 all of that, there were a couple of, again, there's people that they did debate over some sure. of them because they weren't 
like James is a, not an original 12, mm -hmm. so they debated mm -hmm. around that. I mean, he's a brother of Jesus, and he was mm -hmm. a leader in the early church. But there was a lot of debate around that. Mm -hmm. Didn't know for sure the authorship of Hebrews. Right. You know, yeah. certain so, of the Pauline letters. But the they had historical thing. context. And the other thing that I think, and maybe this doesn't make sense to everybody, but there was there's a harmony about them. Does it mean yes. all mm -hmm. the details are the same? No, but they the the theology taught in them mm -hmm. is the same. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you get in some of the pseudepigrapher books, you really have to decide if you read. So you read some of the things in one of these Gnostic gospels, which is a no, whole nother part. Yeah. There's a, a cult called Gnosticism that believed flesh, all the flesh was evil. So Jesus couldn't have been really born in mm -hmm. the flesh, yeah. which, you know, the other gospels say. So you either have to decide either this is true or this is true. It wasn't like there was one angel at the tomb or two angels yeah, at the right. tomb. That's right. It, th they weren't teaching something different. This is clearly teaching something vastly different mm -hmm. than what these are teaching. You can't harmonize the That's two. That's right. Mm -hmm. yes. You mm -hmm. can't harmonize them. Yes. And so they're saying this is what historically has been taught for hundreds of years mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. original time of Christianity. Mm -hmm. And these other things, they aren't the same. Yes. That's right. And I think that's where we get confused. And I've I've talked to people about this because they think, you know, like you said, there's some conspiracy and there and, and what you have to look back at is the reason they were left out is because they contradict what has historically been taught. And so it's not that you're missing anything. It's mm -hmm. that they weeded it out for you long before you ever got here, so you don't have to worry about that. It's not that it's over there hidden, and that's really what the original disciples believed, and it hasn't been allowed to to be out in the in the open. No, it, it was excluded for a reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so. the same reason, hopefully, the illustration I used again with them was I hope in 200 years nobody takes the musical Hamilton as being history. Yeah. Right. But is it possible? It's possible yeah. that sure. somebody's going to go, there's this conspiracy. They really were African Americans who were rapping back in the 17th hundred, you know. I know that is already happening about the Holocaust, that there's whole white nationalist movements that yeah. said mm -hmm. it doesn't happen which is why Jewish people are so serious about not letting it be forgotten mm -hmm. because history has this way over time of people bringing in other things. And if, if you want to believe in conspiracies and all that, you can easily ignore what is the majority of history to go with this one little thing. Yes. Yep. There's something in us that wants to, hmm. when we can't figure things out, yep. that meet with what I already think should be true. Yeah. I want to believe a contrary thing, even mm -hmm. though the evidence might not be so strong. Mm -hmm. And then I believe, like, I really have inside knowledge, which, by the way, is what the Gnostics thought. That's what mm -hmm. Gnosticism mm -hmm. means. It means hidden knowledge, secret mm -hmm. knowledge. Mm -hmm. 